Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fana, your friend, guide and instructor in this channel. We're going to talk about creating some 3D elements, how to convert or change your text to your shapes to 3D. Without wasting our time, let's jump to our computer screen. When we talk about 3D in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, they have given you a touch of 3D and After Effects as well. We have 3D there, but we don't have full options. We can do a slight changes or we can make a few elements in 3D. Go to FX menu. There is 3D and materials. If you guys are using, if you guys are using an Illustrator 20, 21 or 22 or the lower version, previous version, you guys will be able to see extrusion bevel, revolve and rotate. These three other options won't be available there. If you guys are using 2023 20, or 2024, 20, then you guys can work with inflate materials. 3D is also the classic one which are in your previous versions of Adobe Illustrator. Let's talk about extrusion bevel. If we have a shape or if we have a text for example let's write G. Now I fake 3D and materials extrusion bevel. This is the panel of 3D and materials which is in 2023 and 2024 if you guys are using lower version go to classic extrusion bevel. In classic when we have three axes first we can add, rotate it in x-axis y-axis and z-axis this is one way to use it and another we can also rotate our shapes from here then we have perspective if you need to adjust the perspective you can do that too if not then keep it on zero then we have extrude depth how much depth do you want in your shape or text 50 points or 500 points whichever suits your design you can keep it that way for us 50 works well do you want it to be capped or do you want it to be shallow? If you needed the cap, keep it that way. If shallow, then this one. Then we have bevel styles. So far, it's none. If you go to classic, then it will be converted to classic directly. This is complex. Except names, you can see some shapes here too. These are the shapes which will be applied to your design, to your 3D shape. And plastic materials, do you want the shading, shadings or diffuse shading or no shades or just wire? Whichever suits your design. You can go to that one plastic shades but i'm more comfortable with diffuse shading this is some basic instruction about 3d extrude and bevel options we have more options as well we can add maps and more changes we can do some settings for our lights here's the light from which direction do you want light right now it is top right you can do it from middle you can do it from bottom or we can add another light one from bottom, one from right. We can also change their intensities too. This light, it is 100. I want it 40. See, and this is 100. I can change it into 90 or 80 or 10. We also have ambient light. Ambient light is natural light. For example, or reflected light. There are some objects. Light reflected from that end. Head back to your object. You can see some shades there. Turn it down to zero. And you can see there is no extra light. If I delete this light, there are more shades or more shadows there because no reflected light is there or no natural light is there. Add some ambient light. You can see the changes. Which color do you want the shade? Black, none, or you want to customize the color. For example, it's red. You can change it to yellow. You can also change it to something dark blue. These are the custom shades you can also add it to your 3D text or object. This is one way to use your classic extrude. Let's delete this one. Or let's keep it there. Let's create a cylinder. Go to your effect 3D and materials. Go to classic 3D bevel. Change the perspective. Extrude it 100 or maybe 150. The cylinder is fine but I want to add some extra design or extra shapes there. We can add it from mapping. Go to map art. Can you guys see the symbols? Of course you can. From none, select whichever symbol matches your design. For example, let's add this one. It is added to the top because in surface we have selected the first of three surfaces. Clear it. Go to second surface. Second surface is the bottom one. Third set surface is the center one. Come back. Select your icon. We can adjust the design a lot. Just rotate it. Yeah. Okay and okay not just symbols which are already available in your illustrator you can also create your own symbol for example let's write fana go to window symbols yeah symbols click and drag here's symbols i added to my design whenever you want to do some changes in your 3d which is already made 
you cannot go to effects and add another 3d they will give you a warning a 3d is already applied there do you want to apply another one or delete the first one now don't do that go to window go to appearance here's the appearance tab from appearance you can see all the effects or settings applied on your 3d or cylinder click there they will give you back the same settings or the same option menu which you edited earlier go to map the third surface clear this one from symbols you guys can see the symbol which i created earlier add it rotate it scale it hit ok we can also get rid of this color just do invisible geometry fine ok voila now the cylinder you had is invisible it's still there but you can't see it because there is no color our text is visible we can also do some changes here right click or first expand it go to object expand appearance right click ungroup right click ungroup uh, release clipping mask get rid of the section let's change the color of these two to something these two to bright orange and dark orange see we have a rounded text there we have free hand there we can do a lot of things there for example let's write Farid Fana where is the symbol symbol added to symbols okay let's create a text we have created a path go to your effects 3d extruded bevel 250 the mapping You guys have the free hand, whatever is in your mind, you can put it in your extrude, which is related to 3D or extrude. Then we have rotate and revolve. First, we're going to cover all the classic ones. Then we will see how these things work. A really easy way to create an apple. <laughs> Go to 3D, classic, revolve. I guess this is how apple looks. What revolve does, this is the point from where your shape is rotated in 360 degrees and back to the same point you started. For example, offset, increase the offset. You guys can see the changes are the effect. It works. For example, this is the shape you had. It is rotated 360 degree, pixel by pixel and connected back. If we get rid of the offset, this is how your design looks. How can we use it more effectively? Let's get rid of this apple go to your pen tool we can simply create a glass go to effects revolve is it a glass you can also do some changes after we have created or did some revolvement there with our direct selection tool don't forget that we can uh, create some other shapes too some effective ones for example effects 3d and evolve if you want to do some changes click on your direct selection tool we can do some adjustment then we have rotate rotate only rotates your shape or rotates your text it doesn't add any 3d effect or it doesn't extrude it go to effects 3d rotate you can just rotate your text or you take your design shape whatever it is you can't extrude it this is how our classic extrude revolve and rotate works in the next video we're going to cover how our 3d materials or the advanced updated version of extrude and bevel works you don't want to miss the next video subscribe the channel click on the bell icon so you can keep yourself updated or you don't want to miss the next lesson